Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what or whom are you manifesting into your life next. So this is going to be a general reading, guys. Please be mindful of that. If you are after a personal tarot reading of myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead, take a look at what or whom are you manifesting into your life next. And the card that crowns a reading at the bottom of your deck is the Eight of Wands. I feel like someone else got this. Um, okay, this tells us that your manifestations are coming into fruition. They're free-flowing towards you. It also tells us that you're in a great energy field. You're in a great manifesting mode. There's no resistance, okay? You're offering absolutely no resistance towards your manifestations, towards manifesting that ideal partnership, that ideal um, business connection or that goal, that desire of yours. So things are happening for you. Things are also going to be manifesting very quickly, probably sooner than you expect or anticipated. This is a very fast charge pacing very exciting kind of energy so get ready to um, see you know evidence of your manifestation show up in your life very quickly now for some of you with the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles you are trying to manifest um, you know a level of maybe security in your life it could be financial security it could be um, physical security here um, this is a very for a lot of you, I feel like it, it feels like it's more related to finance here and your connection to abundance. It's like suggesting that your life is in flow and in alignment with who you are, with your goals and your desires. And you're on the right path. You're also manifesting the right people, the right situations, the right opportunities here into your life. It's a card that does symbolize like um, fertility, abundance here. She's cradling the gold coin. So to me, this is a symbol of material success here. Also sensual pleasures. Um, it feels like you're manifesting... Okay, you're manifesting from a place of flow, a place of alignment, awesome, and that can only be a good thing. And to me, it feels like you could be manifesting a stable income, a stable job, a stable career path. It could also be a stable relationship, partnership here. Um, I'm also seeing that you're really taking the time to nurture um, new possibilities and new opportunities that are coming your way here. At the same time, you're also working on yourself. Okay, in between all these different commitments and opportunities that you have going on, you're also taking the time out for yourself. Some of you are manifesting financial prosperity, one in which I feel like you're going to be building a very comfortable lifestyle in the present or in the future with you're also manifesting a very comfortable home environment or a very comfortable, safe, secure relationship, guys. Um, I'm also seeing that, you know, because of this position you're in, it's also going to put you in a, in a position where you're going to be able to generously give with others and share your wealth and abundance with people you love connecting energies here you're also creating on manifesting a lot of harmony and balance and peace in your life here and it feels like influences in your in your present or your future influencing energies that feel like these people can provide you with a lot of um it's just 
like it, people that are very resourceful, people that are very practical in dealing with mundane issues or that are very straightforward in trying to figure out solutions for any problems that arise. Um, people that have this really down to earth, very practical attitude here. Um, people that are very loving, supportive, very nurturing here that are going to influence you in a very good way. There could be people that may also become a, a bit like a mentor to you or someone who will become very close to you. So absolutely wonderful here. Um, I'm also seeing that with the uh, the full card here, this is new beginnings that you're manifesting. This is an energy where you're literally out on the outset here, on the edge of a precipice here. Okay, this is beginnings, this is a free spirit, this is literally the, the full card can be placed either at the beginning or the at the end of the major arcana card. Okay, and it's it is considered the fool's journey, right? The whole tarot deck is considered the fool's journey as he sets out on this new adventure here. To me, it feels like you are manifesting a lot of newness into your life. And right now, you're on the beginning. You're at the outset, the beginning of this new chapter, perhaps a new cycle, a new journey, a new romantic journey, a new journey you know, in career, a new friendship here. Um, there's a lot of newness. Call it an expedition. You know, call it whatever you want, but I'm going to say it's an opportunity. Sorry. It's an expedition. Well, it is a beginning. It is an opportunity. And there's so much promise and there's so much potential. And you are manifesting the courage to take your first first step into the unknown here. And this is exciting here. You're following your heart, your intuition. You're taking leap of faith. So you're also manifesting people who are along the way, along your journey, who are going to help you. They might put you on a path to healing. They might put you on a path to wellness here. You might create a very close, um, could be romantic connections. It could be close um, emotional bonds here. It's a time where I feel like you're very trusting in yourself. You're very trusting in the universe here. You're also leaving behind, you're throwing caution to the wind. Wonderful. You're embracing the new adventure that you're about to start. Or maybe some of you have already started as I'm doing this reading here. Now, if you don't feel 100% ready, it's okay, okay? The Fool reminds us that we don't always have to have it figured out. In fact, some of life's most greatest and exciting journeys, A, they begin on the wrong turn, and B, they're not always mapped out, okay? And that's, isn't that the fun and the exciting part of something? You don't know what's coming, or you don't know where it could take you, and you don't know who you might meet along the way, okay? So, if you don't have everything mapped out, it's okay. In fact, it's probably best that you don't here, so... Venture out on this new journey because you're manifesting so much, um, this, like a richness of a lot of newness in your life here. And don't wait for someone or something to give you the green light. You give your permission to give, you know, to start. You give yourself permission to be happy here. Don't wait for anyone else here. You are ready. If you think you're not, I'm here to tell you you are. Even if you don't feel like you're ready, the universe thinks you are, so... You must be. Um, you're manifesting a, a time in your life where I feel like there's so much growth and potential and so much opportunity for you here. And I'm also seeing that there are so many, it's like big ideas that are coming to you in some very powerful ways. So if you are creatively, artistically inclined here, you could be really, you could be like inspired, hit with the hammer of inspiration, like for some wonderful ideas, which I feel like are going to really propel you um, onto a very artistic um journey here okay you're connecting to the energy that surrounds you that flows through you um you're sort of stepping into your own fullest potential here okay and i feel like you're bringing out your inner child or your manifestations are which i really love for you because it's this amazing energy here um you're dancing like no one's watching you're laughing like no one's you know um, listening here it's just you're letting your heart <clears throat> go free and what a wonderful energy that is here now, Nine of Pentacles, more Pentacles, more money, more coins here. You know, it is a sign of wealth. So a lot of you, it's actually a very positive sign. If you are being, you know, if you have been trying to manifest abundance, sufficiency, financial security in your life here, status, social status, wealth here, this is a really good sign. You could, not you could be, but you are manifesting money coming into your life. 
it can come in different forms, okay? It can come in the form of winning the lotto. It can come in the form of a new career path or a new business networking connection or a new opportunity here or a new business idea here. It, it'll come in different forms for some of you here. But to me, this is a signal. It's a sign that there is financially you'll have plenty of money or you'll have more than enough to feel comfortable to feel stable to feel secure here okay and that's always a good sign here now some of you you're manifesting enjoying the fruits of your labor thanks to your hard work thanks to your discipline here awesome guys um money okay you're manifesting money you're manifesting wealth here material comfort here this is like a leisure. This is like kicking back. You could be manifesting retirement here. You could be retiring earlier than expected here. Um, you're also working on yourself, rewarding yourself for all your hard work. Some of you are treating yourself to, you're manifesting a like a new holiday, new hobby here, or like a gift to kind of celebrate you starting this journey or you sort of trotting along on this journey here. You're pampering yourself and you deserve it here. Six of Swords energy, you're leaving the past behind, which I feel like is in alignment with you, you know, beginning this new adventure here. So you're leaving behind any emotional baggages here. You're also manifesting a lot of healing in your life. So healing past wounds, healing insecurities here. It's a card that symbolizes change, transition here. It's like passage, releasing emotional baggage, um... You're bound for a much more peaceful environment, for a much more peaceful, harmonious energy here. Some of you are leaving behind what's familiar territory and you're stepping out into the unknown. But my goodness, it's exciting because that's where that's where it all is. You know, it, it's all outside of your comfort zone. Um, this is a kind of also growth and development here. So you're manifesting a lot of that and you're working on really... Um, improving yourself creating a healthier happier version of yourself just becoming a better person as a result of everything that you've gone through and everything that you've been working on um, lately right um six of swords because it's kind of like a past energy i feel like someone from the past could be back okay um so you could be manifesting someone from the past who comes back for what feels like a very genuine sincere reunion or a reconciliation you know it feels like someone here is looking ahead to the future with you is looking ahead to starting fresh okay starting all over again starting on building a fresh connection and just leaving you know whatever was in the past whatever didn't work out between the two of you whatever happened that's in the past that's long gone someone wants to use this opportunity because they're, they're, they're a changed person they're a better person they're a different person than what you've known them to be and they feel like they're already now and you're manifesting their return and they're manifesting your receptive energy here and this is how you know you are in alignment with your manifestations here you're moving away guys from who you used to be you're moving away from who you used to be towards whom you want to be whom you believe you should be wonderful exciting here um, Ace of Swords, this is new beginnings, right? So you are manifesting definitely a lot of newness in your life here. Um, and it's symbolic because of the mental energy. It is symbolic of the mind, the intellect here. And to me, it feels like there's a lot more mental clarity in your mental energy, a lot more breakthrough. So for those of you writers, for those of you creatives and artists out there, great inspiration communication mental clarity motivation amazing right what more do you want um it, it feels like and notice how at the tip of the sword here there sits a crown and that's what we love because this is a sign of success this is a sign of victory here so you could be manifesting contracts here you could be manifesting um I do feel like it's like networking or it feels like it's you're manifesting the right connections who might put you onto a path of victory and success here. Ace is also a sign of triumph here. So you're manifesting, it's like a win of some sort is what it feels like. You're also a lot more open to new ideas, new connections. You know, it's like you're jumping in towards new opportunities to learn something new or to get something going this is original thinking this is like vision clarity um creative intellectual abilities are heightened um 
communication skills, mental power, that's, you know, that's, it's an excellent time right now to start a new project or whenever you feel yourself in that kind of inspired energy. Take inspired action. It doesn't always stick around, so take advantage of it. Um, you're also getting involved in more activities that allow you to use your brain power, that mind power here. Okay, but to me, this is overall, uh, it's a package that is neatly wrapped in inspiration. So you're taking inspired action, you know, towards your manifestations, towards that person, that goal, that dream job. Amazing. Well, good luck everyone with your manifestations. They're coming in for you. Get ready here. Make sure you're prepared. Um, thank you guys for your time, your attention and your energy. Greatly appreciated. Bye for now.